to me. And let's actually really talk about real stuff. So go on, tell me. If you're gonna just only be aggressive no, and not be I'm open, not I'm having real. this conversation because if, I'm hope to get to the other side of this. You literally don't even act like yourself right now. What, I, I don't know what's because, going on with you. Because I'm not gonna put up with this anymore, Kyle. I'm not. We both have a lot of different feelings and thoughts about what happened, and we both have our sides. Our history counts. That's why when you went publicly and said that I exaggerated our friendship. She said we used to go on trips together. We've only gone on one trip together as a couple that I can recall. That was just flat out an exaggeration. We have so many memories, so many intimate moments. It felt like she took eight years of a deep sisterly friendship and flushed it down the toilet. Okay, can I tell you why I said that? Tell me why. Okay. It... So, when we were at BravoCon, and we're up there as besties. Rank the Richard sisters in order from your favorite to least favorite. There goes the Hello. shot. Oh, oh. Well, Kyle's definitely last. <laughs> okay. Kathy's definitely first. And you look at me like, like, oh, I don't know. It was a joke. It's tongue in Three, cheek. It wasn't. You said that. Oh, and Kyle. That really hurt me. It was a joke. Something you and I used to do a lot. I was very emotional that whole time. You knew what was going on. I had shared things with you. And then I started crying when I was asked about it. I just want to say that, you know, this was not my idea of my fairy tale, clearly. <laughs> you know, but, um, and you later said to certain people that I turned the tears on for, for the attention. Why are you smiling? Like, that's not true. You're doing it's this group. exactly what I expected. You think I'm some <laughs> idiot. That is absolutely not why you went on Amazon Live and said that. Do you know what I think, Kyle? You were mad that I said something on Watch What Happens Live that wasn't even a big deal. Andy asked, how has your relationship been affected by Kyle and Morgan's relationship? I feel like the closer she got with Morgan, the further she got from me. Wow, mm. interesting. Sorry, Kyle, I love you, but it's the truth, that's how I feel. I said that, God forbid, the worst thing in the world, and then you decided, no, no, now I'm gonna show her. If Kyle could just be honest, tell me, that really pissed her off. It got her in trouble with Morgan. It caused all kinds of issues. And just tell me she was upset about that. We can have an honest conversation and move on. Whoa, there is a lot of pointing. They are very, the table. They are very fired up. Yes. And Dorit has nails like yours. Uh-huh. You isolated me. You didn't speak to me for months. Why not just come to me and say to me, Dorit, I'm mad at you for this. Dorit, I didn't I'm upset have the with you for this. I didn't have it in me. No, you were cold, you were distant. I Kyle, was struggling, Dorit. That doesn't mean because you're struggling, you can just treat me like I've been a good friend. I don't care what you say. Just because you say it doesn't make it true. A friend? Yes. When they're mad, they tell their friend that they're mad. I they so try I... to work through it. It's these last two years, the hardest two years of my life. No. Could you give me a what? little grace? I think I did. I think I did. A little bit too much. And when you get to the point that you can go publicly and say that I exaggerate our friendship, grace time is over. Grace time is over. So f***ing expected that. I've been a bad friend and you just decided to say this now because I'm mad at you? How convenient. No, you hurt me and now you have to create something to justify your behavior. This is not a friendship. Kyle, you okay? It's impossible to talk to her. It well, I know awful. that, but what happened? I've actually never seen her act like that. I've never seen her like that. I feel like I, feel like I was talking to an imposter. Wow. I'm gonna get going. What happened? Remember what I told you in order to work it out? That I needed to be able to have an honest, real conversation? Yeah. Well, that is not what I got. What did you get? I got a load of BS. I'm tired of it, Erica. I feel fed up. I'm fed up with the friendship, I'm fed up with the marriage, and I'm fed up with having felt the way I felt. And I'm not going to keep my mouth shut about it. Because at the end of the day, I don't give a all right, good night, okay? Good night, I'm gonna drink a little more tequila. All right, I'll see you. All right, bye. bye. You too, we'll okay. talk some more. All right. I need to have a voice. I'm no longer that girl that you've seen the last two years. I'm bigger, better, and stronger than ever. 
Oh my lordy, I cannot wait to take this dress and throw it in the trash. Done. Throw that dress Done. in the trash. Oh, I obviously I had a good connection with Doree today, and um, she seemed pretty upset when she was about to leave. I don't know what happened. Wait. She was talking to Kyle. Hang on. They yeah. were over there. No, they're both gone, girl. I yes. Well, Kelly. I did talk. Did I did talk to Doree. My boy. Oh, there's Medine. Good night, Kyle. Good night. The weirdest party I've ever been to in my life. Coming up. Mel and I will always get along. For now, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I think that you need to file. Okay, let's go. My name is Bozma Ifiba Mamichi Arthur St. John, otherwise known as Boz. My name is Ghanaian. It means goddess. So when you say my name, you're summoning all of my greatness. Should I hit this real quick? Okay. Come on, because I have to bless it in Jesus' name. Hey! <laughs> I've had a 25-year history in corporate America. I mean, I, look, I know I look young, but let me tell you something. I've been around the block three times. <laughs> I admire you so In the much. outfit. Only oh, the you look cute. I admire more as Beyonce. <laughs>